Yeah, see that's how it works. If anybody ever wasn't familiar, he's putting some uh, some force on that larger lower beam and the smaller upper beam stays straight and that's what points to the gauge. It's actually a beautifully simple technology. Evening YouTube, I'm Chucky2009 and we are about to pop open the old time machine here, the old time capsule. This is a Craftsman torque wrench from I believe the 1950s, might be the 1960s. I impulse bought this on eBay a couple months ago and I've been waiting for an excuse to use it. And Jarrett, we have an excuse to use it, right? What are we working on? Well, we're doing we're replacing the head gaskets on the, my 2003 Dodge Ram over there. It's great fun, isn't it? It's, it's quite a blast. It has been quite, it's been, been a so very enjoyable three days. <laughs> but, <laughs> actually I don't want to use a knife for this because this is a nasty mess. A bubble wrap and tape and I don't want to gouge this beautiful box because the box is probably worth almost as much as the torque wrench. I think this thing is actually used to be fair. I think it's basically new old stock edition now. So we got this cool old box here. Another quality craftsman tool. That's pretty awesome. Accuracy guaranteed to 2% for life of tool. Meets federal specification, whatever that is. Type 1, class 1, style A. Work spec sheet included. That's going to be cool to look at if it's actually still in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, made in USA. Sold by Sears, Roebuck, and Company, Chicago, Illinois. And then we will open this thing. This is it. Yeah, I think this has been opened. Yeah, I don't really remember. Like I said, I've had it for a couple months. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. It doesn't look used. No, maybe it could be brand new. I'll look up the listing. It's late, we're rambling. Actually, it's not that late, it's just been a long day. This tape looks pretty new though. What is in here? I don't even know. Oh, the free, oh, I see. This, I believe we're gonna open this up. Yeah, this is like modern bubble wrap. Like I said, it's either brand new or it only been used a couple times. But it's basically a new shape. It's very resilient bubble wrap. This is cool. This is cool. Okay. So, now. So, this is your 3A drive, and then I guess you just pop that thing on there. Now you got a half inch drive torque wrench. So, Jarrett, uh, funny story about Jarrett, his favorite things in the entire world are beam style torque wrenches. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about this earlier, like, have you ever used one? No, but my grandpa has. <laughs> but I like these things because I don't do much very precise stuff, as you guys know. And uh, they never really need to be calibrated or anything. But this is just beautiful. This thing is a work of art. Alright, so, now we got this cool little chart here. The spark plugs. The installation torque for spark plugs recommended by the Society of Automotive Engineers and listed in the SAE handbook is as follows. Oh wow, you got different values for your cast iron and your aluminum heads. Convert from inch pounds to foot pounds. Use the conversion table outlined below. All right, what'd you say? We gotta torque this thing too? Oh, well, the first round is 15 foot pounds. All right. The second round is 40. So 15 foot pounds, it looks like we just follow this line over here. It's 180 inch pounds. All right, there's not a line for 180 <laughs> inch pounds, so you're gonna have to guesstimate it. You ready for this? Let's do it. This is a cool little chart though. I wish this was an old truck so we could uh... <laughs> not have to remove radiators to work in them. <laughs> I think this is an awesome trick. It's new to me, but <laughs> y'all know I'm not a mechanic. When I do mechanic stuff, it's about the same as when Eric the car guy welds stuff. <laughs> YouTube joke, never mind. All right, so what are we doing here? First We're round for is a 15 millimeter socket. Cool. Does it feel solid? Sure. Feels we'll like a Marika. It a shot. <laughs> feels like a Marika. <laughs> feels like marginally more freedom than we have today. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> just want to check my chart real fast, just to make sure I'm in the right bolt. Yeah. All right. So the first one is 180 inch pounds. We're gonna stop around right about there-ish. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> I love it. Well, you, 
<laughs> it doesn't click. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> you get all this random crap out of the way. Fuel lines and... This is awesome. You do all the work and I just stand here and hold the camera and make lame <laughs> YouTube jokes. <laughs> Did my dog let himself out again? Yeah, no, oh, it's here. <laughs> yeah, my dog lets himself out if the door's not closed tight. I'm gonna kind of fly through this first. Yeah, that's a different kind of obnoxious bark than mine has. Sad. All right, things are going great in the super high energy work environment, right, Jarrett? Oh yeah. Pretty awesome. I love it. Super high energy. That's a beautiful. Yeah, great. I gotta tell you guys, I am very impressed with this torque wrench because it could survive in a box for all these decades and come out and still look great. And where is it going with this? I'm tired. Oh yeah, still work. Still torquing. Still torquing. Close enough. Been <laughs> <laughs> just a hair on it, but oh well. That's the only problem. So how is I wish it clicked. That'd be the only thing. I wish I had a ratchet. I'd, I could live with it if it ratcheted. Yeah, but these are great for people who don't use them very often. I mean, that's why I bought the thing, because they never need to be calibrated. You just make sure the thing majigger points to zero, and she's all good in the hood. Then you run into problems roll. like this. And need to move things out of your way. Yeah. Uh, that was 500. <laughs> Can go wrong <laughs> so we'll put that under the uh the con side of a clicker style torque wrench <laughs> you have to be able to see the gauge <laughs> but to be fair these things were designed to work on much older vehicles where things are generally somewhat more accessible just a wee bit i had a cool not this old one but fairly older one i used to use on my tractors and it was awesome Yeah, see that's how it works. If anybody ever wasn't familiar, he's putting some uh, some force on that larger lower beam, and the smaller upper beam stays straight, and that's what points to the gauge. It's actually a beautifully simple technology. That's it for those. We got four more bolts. Sweet. Get a little thread locker. There you go. Well, that's all for now for the uh, the time capsule torque wrench. Thanks for watching, everybody.